Hello, this is Seamus in 7MYW. Today I thought I would show how I am able to operate QRP and portable HF radio with the ASU FT818, but also with the laptop. So that way I could run WSJTX software, allowing me to use FT8, FT4, JT65, all the digital modes. Um, the newer radios, you probably already know this, but a lot of the newer radios are SDR driven. This is definitely not one of those radios. Um, the Yaesu FT817, the precursor and the model before this one, was absolutely amazing. It was quite a breakthrough with it at its time. And uh, it has been surpassed uh, by a lot of other radios these days, the new SDR radios. But the 818, which gives an extra watt and some, some better filtering, came out about, what, three, four years ago, I believe. So I decided to pick one up again. I had a 817 and sold it. Uh, not regretting that because I needed the money at the time, but I'm glad that I picked up the 818. So what we're going to do, because it does not have an internal sound card, it's going to make it work with the help of the Rig Blaster. The Rig Blaster uh, is put out by West Mountain Radio. I have no affiliation with them, just showing you how I've made mine work. Uh, but this Rig Blaster plug and play has a set of cables and, S, uh, and USBs to hook up to your computer. And once your settings are done, both on the computer and on the radio, you're able to work the digital modes with the ASU FT818. It's a pretty simple, pretty simple way of doing it. Really, you just plug in the USB on one side with my particular computer here. This is a Razer and it's a good little computer and it's definitely perfect for taking portable whether that's to a park summit the beach whatever it is that's what you do net once the light comes on as you can see the green light is on you know that there's uh, there's power to it and things are off to a good start and there's this particular cable here this is the data cable that goes into the back of the ASU FT818 and really all you need to do is to just plug that into the data port, like that, that down there, and then this goes under the plug and play, like so, and that is all there is for hookup. In fact, I'm going to drop this down below right here, get it kind of out of the way. Uh, I do have an extra box on here. Uh, this one's by Rocat. It allows me to take these two individual microphone and earphone plugs and put them into a USB converter because this particular laptop does not have that option. So I had to buy that. That's okay. So this is on. I've got this on 20 meters currently. Also using MFJ's 20 meter vertical whip. Uh, it's got that nice coil down here for 20 meters and made this to where it can work on the back um, PL259 of the 818. I'll just pop that back on there with a BNC connector and it's a pretty simple outfit. If you flip that on there and automatically you can hear that there's signals right there. So that's going. It's just a question of loading up WSJTX, making sure that the software is is running and seeing signals come through. Once you do that, you're good to go. As it's pulling up, and there it is. I'll just stretch this out a little bit here. As you can see, it's on the right correct frequency. Nothing's coming through yet. It will here soon. Uh, the band hasn't really opened up where I'm at right now. I wasn't really concerned about that right away. But they're connecting, and they're talking to each other, and it's receiving. Uh, soon enough we'll see a waterfall come down here and you'll start to see some signals, but I am using an inside antenna currently just to show how this works. And that's about it. What I also like to do with both of my systems, whether it's my home system or the system on the go, is I also added Grid Tracker. Uh, what a great program. I really, really enjoy using it in conjunction with the, uh, the program for FT8 as well. And so once, uh, let me get this off the screen here, once Grid Tracker loads up, I shrink it over to the side, 
set this up to where everything on the screen is nice and um, set up for me to view everything. So one of the great things about Grid Tracker as well is you have a map on here. It'll log for you. It's, it's just an amazing program. And you know what? It's a free program. So free is always a very good thing. Um, but once, uh, once you get this set up, wherever it is you're going, really all you need to do is to find who you want to speak to. I don't see any signals coming through here. I'm going to this antenna up a little more and see if we can pull something in a little bit more on the frequency. I'm not sure uh, the band's going to open up anytime this morning soon. Uh, that's primarily what I wanted to show you is how this works. Then all you do is go over to where it is you want to send out a signal. So for instance, I have CQ, my call sign. Once you hit enable, that will send a signal out. Coming up here, you'll see this change to red and it will show my call sign up at the top right there and there it goes. CQN7MYW. And that's that's about it. it. It's a it's a like it turned off my battery must not have been fully charged. But it's a super super simple way to get on the air with FT8 and other digital modes. Um, I can't stress enough how fun this is. Um, now I am able to go out and to do a lot more uh, QRP work, whether it's summits on the air, parks on the air, whichever one it is. And there you have it. The uh, Yaesu FT818 or any radio that you want to take out that needs to have a sound card, the Rig Blaster works really well. I think these are right around $100 to $110. Uh, I could be wrong on that. Now I haven't purchased one in quite a while. I've had this for going on three years now. Um, I'm really hoping Yaesu or somebody else will come out with a an SDR radio that has uh, all HF 6 meters, 2 meters, and 70 centimeters at a reasonable price. Um, not slamming ICOM for the price of the 705, but it is way up there. And uh, some of the other radios that have come out from China have uh, proven to be very, very attractive. So the market is very competitive. So that's what it is. It works great for me. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video you did please hit the hit that uh, like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and some of the other videos I've put out on amateur radio anyway thank you so much for watching have yourself an amazing day and I'll catch you next time this is Seamus and 7MYW saying 73